What's up? I'm Kenny Day. I am the pro athlete manager for Fox Racing. Today we are at Kawasaki Test Track. We're actually out here talking about how to service your boots. I'm here to basically get guys in boots, service them, make sure they're good, um, and basically keep these things prime as long as possible. All right, so let's talk about how to wash a boot. How I wash a boot is, I know it's gross, put my hand in it, okay? I leave these buckles undone, I always buckle this one. So the best thing to do is avoid from getting water inside the boot. So that's the purpose of your hand being in the boot. You'll spray the whole boot. Like I said, stay away from getting inside. Uh, I always spray the bottom of the boot as well. You don't want extra mud being stuck under there. So when you do get back on the bike, any mud that could get to the foot peg could be slippery. So make sure you wash the bottom of your boot as well. So next step after I will spray off all the mud on the boot, at that point, I will take soap. I do soap the boot really well get in all the crevices, underneath the buckles. And then from that point, you need a good brush. Good brush to the boot is a lifesaver. I will then wash the entire boot with a brush, scrub every crevice, scrub the bottom of the boot. I'll even lift the buckles up and get in on the, on the foam. This is a, a key part, especially if you have white boots, to keep this thing clean and last longer. Drying your boot is a major, major must. The more you dry your boot, the longer it'll last. If you take a pressure washer to it, soak the inside of it, it's not gonna last long. Over time, the water is gonna break down the foam and the boot, it's gonna break down everything. So getting your boot dry is a very important thing. If you have the access, use the air hose, spray everything out, spray out your buckles, spray out your hinges. You'll notice that behind your cuffs, the dirt will stay in there. So if you have an air hose, use it. You can spray all that stuff out. Uh, I also use a rag. I just get behind everything, get behind the buckles, get behind the shin plate, anywhere possible to get the thing as dry as possible, do that. For our pro level athletes, we'll take it to the next step, which means I have a boot dryer at every single semi for the athletes. And once I'm done with it, I set it on top of the boot dryer. And that basically just gets it completely dry. So every single time the guys go out, they don't have, you know, a wet boot can be a mood killer. So dry boot is the way to go. So after every single race, my routine, when the riders come off the track, I always wash the boot properly, dry the boot properly. Uh, one of the things I always do is go through all the, the buckles and the bolts to check them to make sure that they're tight. Uh, reason being is just, you just don't want anything to back out. So um, a good way to do all these things is I'll pop the buckle, Instead of uh, a real quick way to look at it is like, I can always shake the buckles. If they are loose, something you're gonna be able to see real quick. So I always do that. Make sure that everything is working properly. So I always rebuckle every single time, every single buckle, just a good thing to do. Um, I always tighten the inside of the hinge, inside and out. You don't need to go super tight. You're just making sure that it's not loose. Our bolts come with Loctite on them, but if you're gonna take it out, I suggest to just put a little bit in to the threads every single time, and this will basically prevent any chance of the bolt backing out. Another thing I look at when the riders come off the track is I always look at the grip where they're rubbing the bike, make sure that uh, rubber is not chunking off. I always check the, the sole of the boot as well. This is something that you should always visually look every time you wash your boot. If you can see holes or anything in the bottom, then you know it's time to uh, resole the boot, depending on how many hours you have on the boot. So everything that I'm talking about, about maintenance this boot, will also, if you have a motion boot or a comp boot, you can do the same thing. Uh, go through your buckles, check all your wear points, check the sole, make sure you keep it dry. Uh, the only other thing that you'll, you'll notice on the comp boot, it does not have a hinge system. So mainly your big things are going to be checking the buckles and looking at the wear on the sole.